Well, I've been reading this book all day. And I got a lot out of it, I think, but I'm not ready for my final yet. The other thing that Brian and I have been doing today is we discovered Jonathan Kooten. Or how do you pronounce this name? Kooten. And look at his website. He has all of his songs available to play. And then um, I discovered this particular one, which I just think is hilarious. I take a driving bill and head to my car. I drive around to because work isn't very far. I call my phone and I check my messages. But I don't have any messages, all I know. Driving on drugs feels better when they're prescription. All I know is the world looks beautiful, the world looks so damn beautiful. Fantastic, and I never felt as good as how I do right now. Except for maybe when I think about how I felt that day, when I felt the way that I do right now. Right now. He's the most amazing composer ever, and I like all of his songs, and most of them are for free. And he's he releases them all on his website. Um, on his own, he's not produced by anybody as far as I can tell. They're all Creative Commons, so you can reproduce them, and lots of people make uh, music videos of them, like that one that you just saw was made by somebody, not by the guy that, that does it. And uh, you can find them on YouTube, and they're hilarious, and the lyrics are really funny, and there's also one about zombies. I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes. And there's also one about uh, being a code monkey, like I used to be. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, have boring meeting. With boring manager, Rob. And I kid you not, the first time I saw that the other day, I had nightmares that night. I dreamed I went back to Citrix and got my old job back, and it was a nightmare. And I woke up and I felt terrible, but it was just a dream. And that was more scary to me than the zombies one. Back to work for me, though. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah, and the other thing that we...